Hi there, it's Mark Sebastian, founder of Option Pit, and this is the Vol Report. Reminder, the, the volatility report, the stock market volatility option report. Uh, re reminder, this is for educational purpose only. It shouldn't be considered best advice. Options carry some risk. Um, so, you know, I'm I'm looking at this market, and I want to remind everybody, to, tomorrow is our weekly and daily option strategies class, starting at 8.30 Chicago time. Uh, make it a point to get there. If you live in Sydney, it'll be a fun way to spend a Saturday night. Who wouldn't want to listen to me talk at 11.30 at night? So uh, get your get your butts uh, signed up. I think it's going to be a really good class. Um, I'm looking around, and yeah, the open looks a little ugly, but you know, they tried to push this yesterday and couldn't. Um, but today, you can see that the Russell 2000 is really getting hit. It's really getting hit. Um, and, you know, that's maybe kind of a little more disconcerting than what we're seeing in kind of the other major indexes. You can see the Dow still above 26,000, only losing about three quarters of a percent. All right. Still well above the 200, SPX, even, you know, this is not a very good, interesting angle, but yeah, you can see the SPX is, is looking, uh, you know, looking right in between that 200 and that and that 500. The NDX is probably having the worst of it. It's currently right below that 200. And you can see there's some pain floating around. There's some pain floating around in these names. Um, you know, Apple is taking on the chin. Um, I think that'll change. I think it'll get bought. Um, some of the major industrials are all getting getting beaten after having really nice runs. Caterpillar went from 110 to 130 in a, in a couple of days. So, you know, what this looks like is just kind of a retest. I think that probably gets bought, and maybe today. Um, you know, as bad as off 1% seems, we're not seeing a lot of, of reaction out of VIX. Um, you know, a 1% daily move is about a, a 16 VIX. So it's not pricing in a lot of extra risk premium in there. And even the VXN does not have a lot of juice to it, despite these kind of huge moves. So the market is still not buying that we're going to have some sort of major correction here. And, you know, it's setting up for this to get bought. Uh, today, I'm going to be looking at a lot of the, the names that are kind of taking the chin. I'm also going to take a look at Disney. This, you'll recall, uh, Disney, which had a great quarter, was my trade idea of the year. And uh, that has worked out. I'm, uh, I did take everything off ahead of these earnings just because I was, had done so well on kind of what I'd been trading around in. So I will probably take a look at playing in there. Uh, I may play around with, you know, I'm still, I'm still liking a lot of these um, chip names. And even some of the financials kind of are starting to look interesting. Uh, Microsoft. Um, we may look and see if there's something, someplace we can double down on a long. Uh, NVIDIA is, is one of the last major earnings announcers there next week. Maybe it might be worth seeing what's being expected there. But as I said, I think on the day, we may be looking at kind of the lows now. I don't, I don't see a scenario where we get kind of the down 100-point day. There's not a lot of great reasons to sell off, I think. Anybody who's surprised by a hawkish Fed, they're just kind of looking for for excuses. I think this is just a, a technical interday retest after we blew through it last uh, earlier in the week. All right, folks, I hope everybody has a great morning, and I'll talk to you soon.